this is the overland track in winter. Okay, we are currently in our adventure planning and inspiration room, as we call it. Um, finishing off sorting our meals for the overland track. This is what eight days of food looks like for two people in winter. We have here our breakfasts, which is some soups and some couscous mixed with some of the soup mix we have, not all of it. Homemade dehydrated pumpkin soup there among the mix. Then lunches, which is going to be a mix of some of that couscous from Brecky, some sweet potato and pumpkin mixed things with a bunch of other stuff in there. Dinners, we've got some old backcountry meals from work and then a bunch of other campus pantry stuff that we're mixing to make spag bowl there we have now emails or emergency meals hopefully we won't need them but they're there just in case and then all our snacks and goodies already slices and chocolate homemade kangaroo jerky did some homemade fruit leather and stuff here we go we're here at Lake St Clair um, waiting for our transport round to Cradle Mountain here's the view see the snow on some of the mountains in the distance the ferry over there. Got down here all good. Ferry ride on the Spirit was pretty good. And now we're just waiting. Alright, we are at the Waldheim Caverns at Cradle Mountain. This is our cabin here. We are in Binya. And there's snow patches around the cabin. And driving in there was a bunch of snow up on the hill so definitely glad we brought our snowshoes and definitely think they're going to get used tomorrow coming into our cabin Angela nice little cozy cabin for tonight Here we are at Waldheim. We just signed in there to the overland track. We stayed up there in the cabins. There's Angela, keen as anything, ready to go. And this is what the start of the overland track looks like for us. Plenty of snow up there. Keen as, let's go. Alright, so we are just past Marion's lookout and, as you can probably see, we are putting snowshoes on. This is what it looks like ahead. Lots of snow. And, I'm not sure if you can tell on the video, but over there there looks like some ski tracks coming down. And we've made it to Kitchen Hut here. Snowshoes and stopped here Hello. to have some lunch. There's Angela up to her normal tricks. And there we go, and there's our lunch for today. Uh, well, now that she's half out, um, I've got, finally got the video camera out, but Angela found another hole. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so we're almost at waterfall height. Come off the snowshoes now and have got micro spikes on. Well, that's what I've got on, and Angela has yak tracks on. The snow on the boardwalk ran out for a little bit, so I took the snowshoes off, and then a bit slippery walking on this snow ice on the path. So we've popped these on, and they're doing well so far. Well, we just took our micro spikes off and yaks tracks and the sun is shining for the first time. Should be not far off waterfall hut now. We just left Waterfall Valley Hut and you can see the old one there in the background. Okay, so we stopped here for some morning tea. Still got our micro spikes on and the axe tracks. Angela's fell off earlier, so fiddled around with the strap things that we couldn't figure out how to work beforehand. And they seem to be working at the moment. Let's see how they go, they're not quite long enough. But hopefully they don't fall off again. There's the track. Been a bit slow going with the snow. It's getting a bit sloshy. It's been drizzly rain most of the morning and a bit windy as you can probably hear. Alright, so we're on our way to Lake Wills and we're popping our snowshoes back on. We've been having a micro spikes and that on but we've been potholing a lot and there's more snow in front of us so the snowshoes are back on hoping to get down to Lake Wills for lunch all right we are at Lake Wills just had some lunch weather's a bit windy not too much of a view All right, and a fun section at the moment. Bit of deep snow, lots of potholing. Waiting for Ed to do another stack. Contemplating put, putting snowshoes on, but just not sure how long this snow is gonna last. And we'll see at the pole up there. Right, we're heading down towards Windermere Hut. Path at the moment is a stream, like most of the track. Made it here to Windermere Hut. Nice and early today. With some of our stuff outside. Coming in. Angela having some afternoon tea, which I'm about to do. Turned the fire on as it was below 10. I think it's sneaking up towards the 10 now. A bunch of our stuff hanging up drying after today. A bit of stuff got a bit damp and wet. And where we plan to sleep tonight. The track 
is a waterfall here. Just had lunch and the marina's taking photos of the little waterfall. Just popped out of the forest into what I'm pretty sure is frog flights and we have a bit of a view. Well we did 10 seconds ago. Frog's gone over again. Well, we just had afternoon tea at Old Peelian Hut. And we're heading it's a new Pelion hut which you can see in the distance over there. Well, we are ready to leave New Pelion hut. There's a helipad in the distance is Old Pelion hut. Not sure if you can see it on the video, but I've got some photos. Moving across to Mount Oakley. This looks like a recent fall, Angela's turn to go over. I think she makes it more elegant than what I did. Now we're almost at Pillion Gap and we're seeing a bit more snow again. Almost at Pillion Gap and the snowshoes are gonna go back on. Back down, the clouds have cleared a bit, so we actually have a view. Right, we're heading down to Kia Ora for tonight. Snowshoes are on. and trying not to fall in any more holes. We are in Kiora Hut. We have packed up and Marita is currently taking photos 
of the mountains outside because we have actually got a nice morning with some blue sky and we can actually see the mountains. to leave Bert Nichols hut. That was where we slept if you can see because it's quite dark in here. A rather large hut. Kitchen area down through that door. Big open area up through here to put stuff. As you can probably hear the weather is rainy and windy out there. Our packs are in the dark there. Alright, we're going to head off. We're here at Pine Valley Hut. Got here pretty good time. Inside. And we're having lunch. Before we maybe go up to some falls. Some hummus. Invito eats and rehydrated beetroot and capsicum there. And I've got cheese, but Angela won't eat that. <laughs> Just leaving Pine Valley Hut and been a lot of rain so the track is underwater a lot Coming out of Pine Valley, got, just got to the first swing bridge, started raining and hailing. Tiny bits of hail. Tiny bits. I have, probably can't see it. I have a bit on my hand. It's heavier just before.
lot more water than yesterday. Third swing bridge for today. Final day of the Overland Track. We stayed here at Echo Point last night. It's a view from the jetty over Lake St. Clair. And up to the hut, which is quite cozy and crowded last night with five people in there plus some not so friendly rats that did get into a little bit of stuff. There we go. Well, this big old tree has fallen down. Left a trail and it's now half in the lake all the way down there. Alright, almost finished the overland track. is us finishing the overland track. <laughs> Let's do the photo. Angel's <laughs> gonna do the thing.